Welcome to Big Data Pedia. So last video we have seen how to create that EMR cluster in S3 bucket and how to load the data into S3 bucket. That we have seen in the last video. Now we just going to pick use this EMR cluster for our Big Data environment. So I'm going to use my environment with Python 3. So I just using this command. Few commands I just noted myself. It will be. Uh, it, we cannot remember it so I just use it and PySpark we just kickstart this PySpark right now now this environment is going to be boot up with these packages so as per our scenario first we will be going to see this month wise total distance traveled by the each flight number as well as month wise how many get diverted these two in scenarios we are going to see here and those final output is going to be loaded into RDS in MySQL and ROM that's we are going to see it now so before it we just going to be create a data frame to access the data so df equal to spark dot read dot orc I just copy the path and paste it here now it is loaded we just verify with the print schema ok so these are all the columns available in that file and we can see how much record is available ok so it close to 123 millions of record is available now we are going to see the few records from here df dot show so this is the record sample that will be, will be using here and how many records is available length of print length of a df dot columns so total 29 column is available I just copy all the steps because it will be we are going to run as a spark submission as well so better I just copy all the steps on there So we will see first the sample then we will be going to execute via RDS but we need to create the RDS services then only we can access it ok so rest of the command we can get at runtime so now we just going to be use this scenario 1 month wise total distance traveled by each flight number that's we will be going to use it so here month wise distance so we will be using month and flight number is available we can take the flight number diversion for next cases or distance is available so we will be using month flight number and distance for this first scenario so I just going to be use data frame 1 equal to df dot select month flight number and distance
okay so I just select all these three and based on that we will be doing some aggregations in this part so monthly we will be going to calculate the distance values based on that month and flight number that's we will be going to see it now so data frame 2 equal to data frame 1 dot group by month and flight number dot aggregate by we'll be going to use this uh, distance into some operation so I just selected that into the key value pair and selected sum okay everything is fine I guess so we can see but I just copy that so df2 dot show So now you can see it's aggregating and it will be using the cluster and ROM for the, all the aggregate operations. okay so we have seen few data here if needed we can see the data with order by operations order by month and flight number can see the data again how it look like okay so we can see the data actually but if you have the data with null we just remove that so it's uh, like a error records so we just trying to remove that then we can dot so I just filter the data not equal to I think we don't want to speak like that instead of that we can using data frame dot columns dot is not null df2 dot show now we can see how the data look like
once the data is filtered then we will be doing some aggregations if you are trying before uh, after the group by operation then it will be using the all the data so before we need to filter the data is a better way. this is an in internal kind of optimization also so before doing aggregation because aggregation will be a part of actions so you trying to remove that then you can do your aggregation part it's calculating now it closed up to completing the stage yeah now it's coming properly I'll just copy the command instead of df2 I just include with df2 filtrations as well it will be showing with the sum distance so we just using this command again dot with column renamed so this is the column output so we just trying to modify that into total distance okay so this is the correct one I guess so So data frame 2 is correct right now. You can see the actual print schema. Okay, so month, flight number and total distance. 3 we can see now. Okay, so scenario 1 is completed. Now we're just going to see first second scenario. So find out the month wise how many get diverted. So we can find it uh, that flight diverted for the month wise as well. The same scenario but we will be using for diverted only. So data frame have all the information. So data frame dot print schema so already I just start, uh, take it out that month on diverted information so based on the divert information we just take it out and we just calculate for the same flight number with diversions that's we are going to see it now before that we just see the data actual how it look like so same I just copied here Rio 2 month flight number instead of distance I just take it out diverted so all these three column I just using now and change it to data frame 3 and copy that and take it off 3 dot show <coughs> so here also we have shuffle data so we need to remove that and diverted if it is diverted then it will comes to 1 otherwise it will be showing us a 0 it's a boolean operator so diverted means it's a one it will be represent so we need to filter the data with one and not null this is the condition we need to apply then we will be doing the group of aggregation based on the flight number and month that's what we will be doing to approach it so here uh, data frame 4 I'm going to use the same instead of 3 
I just using for four and month is not null ok it will come to month as well and grew by month flight number instance diversions so this is also count only how many so it will comes to count only we will be going to count it I just modified and here we need to include one more condition and data frame one dot diverted equal to one We will see whether it is working or not. Okay, so data frame 4 we can create from data frame 3 and month is not null and uh, data frame 1, sorry, not data frame 1, it's a data frame 3. Data frame 3 because diverted is at 1, we need to filter the data then we will be doing some aggregation based on the month time and the flight number and aggregated via diverter and order by this and uh, order we will be getting that with call of rename and the same we will be doing here something wrong again we just go not null and diverted both of them same only but con continuous conditions so we can split the condition here yeah now it is working fine I just copy and paste here and we can see before executing this ok now it is correct I just using to express the data many that mm, the flights was get diverted it is in staging Now it's perfect, the data we can see now. So this is the diversion records we can see here. Okay, so this is the scenario one and scenario two we can take it out. And now we just going to insert into RDS table. So right now we just see everything into that environment as a shell environment. Now we just going to create a RDS. So I just going to create RDS now. So same service in it will come under to database. You just select the RDS and directly it just represent it to RDS environment. Okay, so here you just select the database and create database and select standard and MySQL this all the engine is available I just selected MySQL and I'm going to use 5.5.61 and this is the free tire that I'm using this is for the testing so I just use for free tire 
and this is the database instances you can provide whatever that's not an issue and uh, password and the username it will be asking for that particular endpoint so I just copy that and already I have admin and my MySQL admin is a password already I have I just copy that and paste here okay so database one is a database instance as well as admin MySQL admin is a password I'm using now and rest of them is same only storage everything is the same and connectivity it will be comes with default kind of VPC and click this connectivity and you can see here publicly accessible if you selected that then only you can access otherwise you will be using some key operations this encryption key based on that you can collect it uh, so you just select SIS and come to this security group and already it was in default now you just select and include this elastic map reduce master. If you select this, then only you can connect it to EMR cluster in master environment. If needed, you can provide as a slave as well. So this all is a kind of security group policies you need to include. And no preference for the zone and a database port number by default for MySQL double three zero six. So you need to provide the same only. You don't want to change anything. So that's it. You just simply create a database. Now it's creating now. It will take one to uh, two two minutes. So in before that, we just going to make some development as a Spark submissions. So before it, we just going to be import from pyspark.sql import Spark session from pyspark.sql dot functions import all and then I'm going to create a spark keyword here spark session dot builder dot application name airlines dataset dot get or create it's a camel case we need to provide everything to the first letter as a caps okay now it's created and spark will be utilized and it will be printing the schema and we don't want to use data frame count because it will be running so it will take some more time additionally so for the optimization we just removed it and print the total column so total columns slash new line and selecting this one scenario one is going to be execute and we need to write it into rdbms so this is that a user id password so we just going to create a uh, uh, properties for SQL injections but this equal to so it will come with the user as admin comma password mysql admin as a password already we have this two anyhow we just copy and paste without any spellings and then it it will come with username and password and drivers driver also already I noted so this is the driver name I just copied ok that's it So df2 dot write dot jdbc and it will come with the URL. Once we create that endpoint, we can use it, and then it will be asking for tables. 
so scenario underscore one that is a table name and properties equal to just mention for the differences SQL properties okay we're just going to see and refresh it it is in create database state only okay but now it providing the endpoint you just copy the endpoint and paste that as well so come to URL paste it and entirely just copy and paste here just change df4 and table is scenario 2 before come to this we need to ensure it is writing for this environment so just take a print writing JDBC table the same you just provide here one more time already SQL property we provided so we don't want to provide again and again so that's it now until you just copy this commands and go to your environment and call it or better you just duplicate the session one more okay now it's kick started mm, before executor we just see how the data is look like here so this is the database name sorry endpoint I just using this endpoint to connect just copy and execute here now it is successfully connected and show data bases it is not created any databases newly so I just creating database create database uh, yes I just mentioning as RDS airlines and we forgot one thing we need to provide that as well here here you can see this URL number and you need to include this database same like you need to include here that's it now we just going to execute it otherwise it will not be locate that database properly so I just kill the job and create a new file Fox airlines dot py I'll copy entirely and paste here. Now you can see it's properly in PySpot. That's a Python code you can see. Just save and submit it. Spark hyphen submit. iPhone iPhone master yarn iPhone iPhone deploy iPhone mode I'm going to use this as a driver so I just mentioning as a client and we need to include the package as well so this is the package name it will help to connect into that environment so we need to include and then we need to provide the Spark Airlines Python file something we missed so length we didn't provide any comma so that's what it will be showing that error that's it 
it. Now it is submitting. It's going to be failed. It comes until the JDBC writing options. So just go or we can see the data so it comes till this point then only it's going to be failure so properties is correct and we had a mistake with JDBC URL and MySQL and data frame here only is going to be failed because we just printed this line JDBC MySQL database dot ok so we just missed the semicolon here same like we have missed the same semicolon here so I think this is the problem spark so now I just take this again code again and execute now it is running successfully databases use audience lines show tables okay now it is writing so steps is running the backend still it is writing to scenario 1 now once it is completed then it's go for the scenario 2 So task manager is running and okay S scenario 1 is completed and scenario 2 is get started. We just go and see the data how it looks like. Store frame scenario 1. So all the records we can see here. Unfortunately, we can provide with limit 5. Query execution was interrupted. Okay, now we can see the data. Same like we can see for scenario 2, but still it is in execution mode. Okay, now it's complete. Line. So properly it will be injecting the data into this environment ok so we have seen this two scenario and normal shell mode as well as submission mode both we have seen just before now we just going to be how we can kill it all the services we just going to be killed now one by one so first we can see with S3 So simply you just select your bucket name. I think Airlines tw 2019. That's your bucket name. So Airlines 2019, you just select and delete. And before deleted, it will be asked for the confirm bucket name. Just copy the bucket name and paste and confirm. Okay, now it's deleted. 
second we just going to be terminate that EMR cluster so you, if repeatedly you are using that will come to this history so just select that EMR so under this you can see oh, what are the clusters running state you just filter that as well so only this one is running you just select that and terminate okay now it is kick start for the termination and third one is RDS you just select this RDS and go to database in databases just before we have created and all the data will be injected in this environment only just select this database and go to modify delete here if need any backup or snapshot you just select this create final snapshot otherwise you just remove it and select this acknowledgement and you just type delete me and click delete that's it now this RDS also is deleting now this is the way you can do this you can see now the EMR cluster it is in terminating terminating stage once it is terminated you will not be getting this access this access also revoked some network connected issue you can face it so unexpected network connection so it will be happen like this so remote side unexpectedly closed to network connection this means your cluster will be in terminator like this you can identify already a still bucket was terminated and go to this RDS and go to databases and here also it is in deleting stage I guess already it is in deleting stage so it is in running backend so like this you can delete it so status is in deleting stage once it is completed then this is also disabled that's it like this you can creating this amazon services and you can terminate the amazon services and if we will be see back with new project Thank you. And if you have any feedback, you just share and we will be go through with that and get back to you. Thank you.